Sari Feldman, newly elected president of the American Library Association, is on a mission to help bring libraries into the digital age. Thanks for joining us. So how do libraries adapt and adjust when so many people are now thinking about books in an electronic form? Well, you know, clearly the Internet changed everything for public libraries, academic libraries, school libraries. You know, we're all in the same transformation period. And people are coming into our libraries today and are wowed by the new technologies we offer and the way we can help them to access new digital information. So how are libraries adapting in this digital age? So people are really surprised when they um, find out that they can download e-books, e-audio books, magazines, uh, videos, right from the library, and we're teaching people how to do it. But we like to say that libraries are less about what we have for people and more about what we do for people. And so today, we're teaching people how to create their own digital content. And where does that start? Even nowadays, most jobs require a resume or an application to be submitted online. Absolutely. So um, libraries all over the nation are often the first place people go to get ready to be part of that job search process. And people who have computers at home and internet connection still find that the broadband available at libraries is faster than what they have at home. And it's our qualified staff that can help them through that job search process. So what kind of technology do we see in the modern library today, or possibly 10 years from now, what's going to be standard? So clearly, we see desktops and rows and rows of them when you come through library doors. But we also see increasingly mobile devices that people are using. And then we have things like e-browsers in some of our branches, where people can actually browse digital content and download using their smartphone or their other mobile device right in the library. I think we see you know, large, giant iPads where we're showing people how to work collaboratively, recording studios, video studios, the unexpected. So why is it important to have these new technologies? And why is it the role of the library system to bring it to folks? So this is really an extension of the information role libraries have traditionally played. And we're also a place of discovery. So people come to us for education, employment preparation, empowerment, engagement, entrepreneurship. And we need to have the new tools to be successful. So one of the questions people wonder is, when I walk into a library, I still see hundreds, possibly thousands of books, right? Will those books be replaced? Will they all be sort of, you know, I put my Kindle in here, I automatically download something. Will I still go to a library and thumb through pages? I think we will always have books. I firmly believe that. People are um, library lovers and are, you know, our biggest supporter base. They appreciate and value the role that libraries play around reading and reading discovery. But increasingly, we're going to see new tools, digital tools, and spaces where people collaborate and work together. You know, libraries in America have really been that place for individual opportunity and community progress. So how do they adapt 20 years from now? I mean, what, what is a library, if you dreamed of what a library looks like, what's my experience when I walk in? Uh, flexible spaces where you walk in alone or you walk in with your group to work on a project, to have that hands-on access, mm -hmm. uh, hands-on learning opportunities, and we're facilitating it. That's our role. All right, Sari Feldman, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.